Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Media Watch on a slightly different level. We haven't been on for a while, but we thought we'd come back and uh, highlight some uh, incredible people that are doing service in the community right now. I've got some fantastic guests to uh, share with you what they're doing out there. Uh, I'd like to introduce Capri, uh, who's actually the president of Gurdwara in Shepherd's Bush, and also Ramneet as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're just going to talk about a few subjects, um, things that are close to our heart, which is Siva. And you guys are doing some incredible work. Um, so thank you again for uh, for joining. Appreciate it very much. So let's kick off with the first question. Thank you for inviting us. <laughs> let's Thanks kick off with the first question. No, no, absolutely. It's uh, I know you're very busy at the moment, and it's uh, it's good to uh, make some time out. And uh, Sikhs are naturally humble anyway, so we don't tend to tell people what we're doing. But I thought it's important to highlight some of the things that you're up to. Uh, in the Gurdwara, as well as uh, an outreach set of programs. So, first question to Gupri, now that you're president, congratulations, uh, a few um, months ago. Uh, quite an incredibly difficult time right now for lots of people in the community, uh, especially those who have actually uh, lost loved ones. Um, the epidemic still is continuing. It's still very hard uh, to get a sense of, uh, you know, what's happening around us. The lockdown is affecting every single person, not only in terms of their mental health, but also uh, in the fact that they need to adhere to the rules, uh, and, but more importantly, stay safe and stay fit as well. Now, in the Gurdwara, um, there's obviously no attendance because of the risk of infection. You took on board that challenge and uh, you've been doing a number of things. Tell us about what you've done. Um, like I said, there's one of the things that's really a, a negative thing to talk about, which is sadly funerals and the ceremonies that have to take place for that. How is the Gurdwara in Shepherd's Bush coping with this? So um, it definitely, uh, we got a new committee elected, a, uh, a good team, a broad team with uh, many skills. And uh, within two weeks of being elected, we've ended up with uh, the biggest challenge I think a, a committee has faced in many, many generations at the Gurdwara Sub. We're a very old Gurdwara Sub uh, established in 1908. So no one would expect uh, us to have been dealing with a pandemic, which would have required us to close our doors to regular divans. So at the moment, based on government guidelines, there are only certain activities you can be doing at the Gurdwara. Obviously, we keep the Gurdwara Sub running. We have our Granthis on site. So uh, everything has been happening. All the Satkar uh, Maharaj has been done. Um, however, we can't open for uh, regular divans. So what we've been doing to counter around that is uh, being live streaming our regular programs. So the Kirtan still happens, but we live stream it and Sangat from around the world, wherever they may be, are able to watch and uh, enjoy that Kirtan. Um, it may not be the same uh, feeling as if you're sitting there in Sangat at the Gurdwara Sa, but it, we're trying to get it as close to that as possible. We've recently uh, just installed a 4K streaming solution. We wait for Gurpi Paji to come back. I can add yes. more to it. So I'll, I'll wait for him Please. to add, explain more about the new um, technology that we're installing in the Gurdwara Sa. Um, no. So our efforts as, as committee members has been to ensure that irrespective of what the country is facing, the challenges and what the society is facing, our main duty and job was to ensure that Gurdwara Sa's program reach out to its Sangat as best as possible. So we, we have used and um, extended ourselves to using all social media platforms that we could use, mainly Facebook, YouTube channels. Um, so Gurdwara Sahib has its own YouTube channel that we've created. And um, a lot of our members, in fact, we have a, a very great following on Facebook. So um, stream live streaming our programs and events on Facebook has actually engaged our Sangat, not just from this country, even from other countries like India, where people have been connecting with us. Um, we have our regular programs. So we have Sukhmani Sai programs that we connect through Zoom. So um, which is on Saturdays and Sundays. This is led by our Sangat it's, uh, themselves. We have children's program we've been conducting. And in fact, children's program have been of great success. And I feel really proud when I talk about it. And we have a beautiful, very committed, dedicated um, team volunteers who have been working on this program. 
So we have Navleen Benji, uh, we have Manpreet Ahuja, we have Manpreet Kaur Anand, Jasmine Kosani, Dipinder Alec, so all, but, um, William, um, who, all these are, are volunteers who constantly are having conversation of how to keep the curriculum alive. And I think amongst all the negativity that might be around us, I actually take it as a blessing that we have taken this opportunity to find a whole new platform of how to reach out to Sangat who would normally not be attending Gurdwara Sahib as well. So last uh, that's program, that's children's pattern. That just shows their flexibility because I know some of them as well, the ladies that you mentioned and, uh, and other people that you mentioned, uh, men, uh, they're professionals, they're, they actually are teachers as well. And they've been able to yes, adapt their are. stuff because normally they're used to seeing somebody face to face, but on a Zoom conference, yes. you might see them, but you can't touch them in terms of, you know, um, you know, you're touching them in a different way, but you know, there are different things you need to look out for, especially if it's two way. Um, but yeah, absolutely. There's the flexibility, but also showing great creativity and, uh, you know, spirit to be able to take on board the challenge. Absolutely. I think that's true. I think that's what we represent as Sikhi. I think that's the whole concept of the word of Chardi Kala. It's like irrespective of what is happening around us, we remain in the state of very positive thinking. I think we take that on beautifully and adapt that and our lifestyle around it. So I think Gurpi Paji is back, so you can add more yeah, Gurpi, about that. Yeah, um, back. Yeah, Gurpi, yes. Yeah, he was, he was telling us about the specialist cameras. Uh, there is um, another subject we'd like, I'd really like to address. I know, uh, Gurpi, you've got, uh, you've got incredible army training background. Um, but we're going to talk about another subject that you're doing, uh, which is basically you're helping uh, with uh, regards to distribution of food, right? Uh, whether it be to the hostels or to the uh, to the hospitals. We'll come back to that in a minute. But Gurpreet, tell us yeah, now. Yes. Uh, we, we got a, a bit cut off before, but you were telling us about the camera equipment that you've installed, and that's going to make it really much easier to to broadcast. And it was on that on that note that uh, Ramit was telling us that uh, there are uh, streaming. Uh, sessions that are going on on Facebook and on uh, YouTube? Yes, so we've been doing a lot of streaming. We've been uh, doing sessions on Zoom, as Ramneet covered off, on the education and on Sukhmani side part. We want to try and keep it as interactive as possible. Uh, we're definitely with the Sukhmani side part. Each, uh, everyone is able to participate in that. Uh, the, the Zoom sessions have been going well, but also the, we've started, li we've been live streaming from the Gurdwara. Initially, we're just uh, mobile phones. Then we found a way to get the sound system hooked into the mobile phone to improve the sound quality. And But one project which uh, I had already initiated um, in terms of gathering all the requirements uh, was to actually get a professional broadcast quality um, streaming setup created at the Gurdwara One so we could archive all that you've done and have it recorded in top quality in 4K. And the other was so that we could broadcast um, in uh, a good quality to the Sangat on YouTube, Facebook, and a multitude of other platforms. So the physical hardware has now been installed. We were ready to move quite quickly on that after the outbreak of COVID. And that's all being installed, and we're hoping just that we can improve the experience from the Sangat. But uh, we're getting feedback from all around the world. Someone sent me a video today. They were sitting in Delhi, and they were watching uh, uh, pro last night's program on YouTube. And they were just they, they took a shot around the room. All the uncles, aunties, everyone was sitting there. Junia Parke, Chonkri Marke on the bed, and were watching the program and. It was great to see that people have that Sharda and that the Gurdwaras are able to keep everyone engaged. Um, a, a lot of people have said, I, I never realized I'm going to miss the Gurdwara this much. Yeah, but, well, I mean, it's uh, beautiful to it, archive it. You know, that's really good. Yeah, no, no, um, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, the Sangat said they wanted this, so we said, yes, make it so. I, I would ask uh, another question. It's quite a difficult one in the context that. You know, um, part of the Gurdwara is to really provide that calm, you know, that sense of community, right? So you can get that sense of community as well as when you do seva, when you're doing selfless service. But when you've lost a loved one, you know, people may come and just sit and, you know, try and, you know, contemplate and reminisce. Um, that's the thing that you do in the Divan Hall, but the fact that you could hold a part, you know, and, uh, and I've seen that you've done that as well. You've held a part and they can basically, uh, tune in 
uh, and they've got that serenity. Not obviously the same thing as being yeah. in the Gurdwara, but part has been held. Yes. So we, it, this is a difficult time. Uh, we are as a Qom Chardikala, and we try to find ways to deal with our problems. Uh, so the challenge is the government guidelines uh, came out that uh, funerals are allowed at Gurdwaras. You can have a program, but you've got to do it safely. So we've limited it to 20, up to 20 people. Our, our, our view is our hall can safely allow for, actually probably more than 20, but we've limited it at 20 people, can be sat socially separated. And uh, we were able to do a divan for um, a funeral where you, for the start of a surge part and also for the org of the surge part where the family of the deceased can attend and participate in that. So we're keeping it as near to normal as possible. There is obviously much more rigorous hand cleaning going on and you'll be noticing people with PPE on, uh, gloves are there and we're, you know, the prashad, we're doing crap prashad, but we distribute that in pre-packaged bags just to avoid any sort of risk of contamination. Fantastic. So let's talk about, because the final part of the program, because we, we literally, um, like I said, we really appreciate your time because there's, you guys are doing a lot of stuff in the Gurdwara uh, and then you're helping to organize things. So specifically, you're doing some uh, work with everyone else. You're helping to coordinate things. Um, there's longer being made. Uh, it's been distributed out to, in containers, I assume, um, to hospitals. Uh, and also some uh, care home, uh, not care, I think you're doing uh, food, uh, some shelters for the homeless, and also you're getting some packaging together for the food banks as well. Tell us about the, the kind of, um, I guess, the challenges of doing that, you know, especially when you have to make food, sometimes people make food together, don't they? Yes, actually, I'm going to hand over to Ramnik on this one because she's actually led this project, uh, our Lunger Outreach Project, because we thought if people can't come to the Gurdwara Sub to have Lunger, we need to get Lunger out there to the community. And now is a greater need for it than ever before. The Gurdwara is just my view is the Gurdwara Sub is our training ground for Seva. The Seva is out there in the world outside of our four walls also. So I'm going to hand over to Ramnik to talk more about that. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. I will correct you. I'm not leading on it. We conceived <laughs> it together. We planned it all together and we're working on it together as well. I think that's one of the beauty. Um, just to give a little background as well, I haven't been long in this country, not long enough. Um, and I've been um, connected with Gurdwara from the past couple of years. And my experience is that I have found a family in foreign, foreign lands here. So it has been absolutely beautiful. And for me to hold on to that experience, it was like, when you've had that experience, how do you further share it with the others? And Seva is one of the most beautiful thing that has been taught to us. I think it's been given to us in a Gurti by our, our Sikh philosophy, by our religion that we are born in. Um, so when this happened, I think Gurbi Paji and all of us, we got together and our, our first was like, how do we reach out? to those who need it and also to our elderly and anyone else that we would know of. So it was constant uh, brainstorming, getting in contact with the institutions. Um, we have an incredible team. So we have shared responsibility of who does what to make this entire program work efficiently. So we have a team of IT qualified, we have legal team, we have, you know, people who have marketing strategies, you know, background, we have PR team, and then I come with my military background, so I just run with a very military precision. Um, so everything came together very beautifully. I think there was demand for it, and we knew we can do it. I think by Waiguru's grace, we are skilled that we can cook at a very, you know, very short notice. We are fully equipped to do that kind of cooking. Um, the entire team, committee members and the Sangat, they support this project, which is the beauty. And, and then just we carried on. We are providing around 2,000 or more meals per week to NHS staff, you know, food banks, youth hostels, shelters, elderly. Um, we start cooking nine o'clock. We kept meal to be very simple. It's 
you know, gluten-free meals we're looking into. And our target is as soon as those pans come off the stove, within 45 minutes, the food needs to reach its destination. So everyone's opening, when they open those food containers, they're looking at very nice hot meal. It's not as something they need to, um, you know, reheat. We've had fabulous feedback. We have created ways that not just the organization, even the individuals who are having those meals, they can give us a feedback. There's a link and some beautiful feedback. If you have time, I can read that out to you. Um, I think I firmly believe in, in the fact, you know, Sadia Das, when we say, you know, Raj Kareka Khalsa, um, to capture countries, towns, cities, you know, to mark, a, you know, a country as your own, it's, it's a very old thinking. My thinking is, you know, we're going to, we see Raj Karange Dilante, you know, we will capture everyone's heart with our love, with our savor. That's how I believe, you know, Jab Jite, as I say, Man Jite, Jab Jite, that's the philosophy that we believe in. Um, so we have an incredible team of people who cook. So we kept it very small because we have to put the COVID plans in place as well. Social distancing has to be implemented. So it's a very small team of three people who start cooking. Then we add to that three team with another three people who will then become part of the packing team. And then we have two teams who um, take our deliveries and then they, they distribute it to all different destinations. Um, that's the, the summary of our, our saber. Very good. That, very um, very, uh, we very well structured and uh, coordinated as well, which you have to be, and also very disciplined to ensure that people are following the process. And, and you have to be very nice as well to say, this is how you do it, this is not how you do it. There's a little bit of training that needs to happen Indeed, as well. Yes. Uh, yeah. So and and uh, you've got to kind of be graceful about it uh, and and respectful, which is which is important. But I think all the volunteers that are out there. I mean, I really wanted to do this show just to kind of show people. Like I said before, a lot of people are really humble. Uh, they don't talk about it. That's a, that's part of Sikhi as well to be humble. You know, you don't go around showing Thank off. You. you just actually do what do what you need to. You know, make it make it so as they say. Yeah. Um, so it's important to, you know. To follow that principle, you it know, seems if you got, indeed. If you got I think idea for me, mind. yes, apology. I think it's nothing extraordinary that we are doing. As I said, this is in our philosophy, this is who we are. Um, you know, Langer, we six Sikhs have been practicing and doing, you know, doing Langer as long as we have known. And this is the practice how world will recognize us as well, especially in these times, but it's not just our Gurdwara, our country, across the world. People are recognizing what Sikh contribution is in the present days and time, especially in such difficult times. As I said, we are there to reach out to win people's heart. That's what we Sikhs are. It's, it's um, a lovely, lovely about the reaching people's heart. Sorry, Capri, you were going to say. Yes, um, I would like to give a message to. There's a number of gurdwaras which have just, uh, as soon as the lockdown was announced, put the tale on. Uh, sacked some of their gyanis and ragis and just went into mothball mode. I would send a message, open your doors, get your sevadas in and start making langar and feed the world around you. Make a difference. Now is a time for Sikhs to put our philosophy out, to put our guruka langar out. If, if, there was, if we're unable to serve in the time of a crisis, then what, what have we learned from our faith? Well, we'd learn if we're, if we're putting Tali on our door, saying, I see Langa Neban Asakli, then I, I, I fail to understand what we've learned from our faith. Well I, well, I think the good thing is that, you know, you're leading the way, you're, you're being an inspiration, you are learning, and hopefully, you know, they can call on your skills to say, what can we do, especially if they don't know where to start, or, um, and I'm not saying yeah. that's an excuse, but maybe, you know, if they, if they are a little bit worried about how they it, can do it, all this, at least showing that you can many, do it. Are, there are many groups who are ready and able to support. So we're doing this from the central Gurdwara, but we've actually had help from Kalsaid. They've sent us Russian. Guru Manio Granth Gurdwara Sahib have sent us Russian and uh, also SWAT. Uh, so you're, what you're seeing here is uh, all the Sikh orgs coming together. This is teamwork. You know, Absolutely. We, we, I was we, just going to yeah, say that network. those particular uh, you know, uh, organizations are it's great that they're working together. You know, that sense of community is extended in terms of not only their networks, but also the people that they go out and help as well. Uh, and the fact that they can all come together and help each other out. 
that, that's a really great thing, you know, kind of the cross fertilization of that uh, skill set as well as uh, support. Uh, that's an amazing that's thing to see. Make the the server more. Absolutely. So I'm going to say. I may say, read out a few messages. Is, yeah, is that sure. okay? That's um, okay. Yeah, just... one of the comments. Oh, you carry on. So during the COVID-19 crisis, my block has been lucky enough to receive the most delicious and nutritious meals from your Gurdwara. We live in Robinson House, Bramley Road, and remember how we came together as different community, communities to help each other. Thank you for your support again during this pandemic. It means a lot. Um, another message, so there are quite a few. I really look, for, and these are individual messages that we gather from our feedback forms um, online. I really look forward to your meals that you provide to Charing Cross Hospital staff. Thank you very much. Lovely meals by Carl Sajata. Thank you for your hard work. Amazing food. So it just shows that a gesture of, you know, Seva is reaching out to people and how it makes a difference. It really and I think that is very, very important. You're helping many lives out there and you're helping a lot of people that are struggling because one of the things that we see and we're going to see this sadly due to the economic uh, downturn that is expected and people report is that you know even though hopefully we'll get over this in terms of you know we can't bring back the people that we've lost and there have been some incredible people that we've lost every every life when i look at a number i feel that it, it's, it's not just a number it's an individual that we've lost you know uh, and you know once we're over this uh, and they found a cure um we need to be prepared for the future as well in case other pandemics arrive too and be prepared for that too but that's a different discussion but i do want to say that all of you have risen to the occasion uh to you know put in a lot of your personal time and your hard work and your brains and to you know work as a sense of community to help communities and it's definitely to be commended and you know i say you know thank you on behalf of everyone uh and uh, I, you know who am i i'm just somebody that's bringing uh you guys to, to talk about you know some of the things that you know people need to realize that people are doing in the background uh, to support communities so you know fan fantastic work well done you know um so we're, we're gonna leave it there thank you so much for your time and we will see you very soon we'll get you back on another show you can tell us about you know um you know what else is going on and how actually Gurpreet, maybe you're extending the service so when things do come back to some sense of uh, normality that you can actually broadcast that as well and Renee, I think you'll be doing some great work especially you never know uh, the other positive thing that may come out of it is that uh, you know virtual classrooms for those who want to learn Punjabi or want to do Kirtan or learn Kirtan remotely you could run some sessions so there is some positivity uh, out of the negativity that we're all in so uh, thank you so much Bye, you, Gakasa. Bye, you, Fateh. Bye, you, Fateh. Bye, you.